Welcome to another video guys. Um, again, this is an unscripted video. I haven't really thought of what I'm going to say exactly, but I think, you know, I have some good idea in my mind. What I want to convey, I have the abstract point in my mind. So, you know, I'll talk about that with you. I'll try to help you out. Try to help you understand what are the expectations you can have in your mind and what are the common mistakes that people make you know i think in this small video i'm gonna fit the kind of mistakes that you will be making in the next two years and you know if you already know of them chances are you're gonna be able to avoid them so that's what we're gonna be talking about over here um guys the thing with going overseas and studying in another country you know it's not as complex as people make it it is really really simple the application process is simple the universities are there to help you you know even when you go to the university once once you reach you know you will understand that you know there are a lot of people available to help you but it's not like home it's not like you know you will have someone washing your clothes you will have someone cooking you dinner you know it's not exactly like home. If you're staying at a hostel already or if you've stayed in the past, chances are you're going to be fine, you know, if you're doing all of this stuff yourself anyway. But, you know, if you're someone who has been pampered so much, you know, your parents do all of this for you. And secondly, on top of that, now you have new responsibilities, you know, you have to get the groceries, you have to do the dishes, you have to cook for yourself you have to go ahead get jobs you have to go ahead get research positions you have to go ahead get funding all of this can be a lot to take in when you just reach the university and trust me this race this starts from the very first day it doesn't stop for the next two years um, if you're in a master's program if you're in an undergraduate program it doesn't stop for the next four years so you know keep a note of that you're gonna have to be ready you know your mind has to be ready it's not simple it's not easy and you know you have to be up to the challenge so for a lot of you guys you will have a huge loan on your head I know a lot of you guys will be taking up a loan and you'll be thinking maybe if I can just bag you know uh, an internship or some sort of a position maybe on campus maybe off campus you know i can maybe at least cover my own expenses i can maybe my living expenses can be covered with that money and it happens but the day the, but the thing is the day you enter the the country that you go ahead to study in you need to be active you need to be proactive you need to go ahead talk to people you need to go ahead see the opportunities take your resume to different places see which person will hire you and then you can move on you know then things can be a little bit more calm if you wait till the last day if you wait till your friends arrive if you wait till you know your roommates arrive your friend you you get to know them all of that you maybe travel all the city you're not going to be able to get a job so easily later on you know when people start coming in it's not as easy i'll tell you i see this happen firsthand and i'll tell you one other biggest mistake that people do um, so when I went to USC, there was basically, you know, I was staying in a dorm. I had about four or five roommates. That's a lot, right? Four or five roommates. And, um, of course the, the house was pretty big. So, you know, that was not the issue. You know, the issue was that, uh, even in those dorms, there was, there was always some sort of event happening and there were a few study rooms. Okay. So in the dorms, there were a few study rooms. There was a gym also. But there were, there were mainly study rooms on every floor, you know, two or three of them, where I think they were like, it's like a small room and you have four or five seats. It's like white lighting. So it's very, very bright and, you know, you can concentrate over there. Now, what I used to see was, and this is kind of funny, actually, what I used to see was that always it was the, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying this by discriminating or anything, but, um, 99% of the times, all the Indian students, and it, it was only three or four of those students, not all of them, but three or four of those same Indian students would be sitting on those same chairs, whether it's 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 p.m., whenever you go, they will be in that study room and they will have a book in their hands, they will keep underlining or they'll have a laptop in their hands, they'll keep highlighting stuff. I personally could not even go ahead and use that study room a single time. So I know a lot of you have, you know, maybe roommates who are loud, you know, maybe things are not really in your favor, maybe someone's partying next door, but this is not good behavior. If you're just studying, let me tell you, you're doing more harm than you're doing yourself good. 
that's not how you go ahead and make it in countries like the US or Canada or Australia. You have to be proactive, you have to go out, you have to network. And this is the biggest mistake people make. People will start studying the books, they'll start doing the curriculum. They will think that that's all you have to do because that's all they have ever done in their bachelors, you know. Maybe in India, maybe in China, that's what they have done. They were, you know, they sort of practiced rote learning. They learned everything, they underlined everything, they put it in their head, they spilled it out on the test day and they passed. Maybe even came first, second, third. That works in countries like India, China. It does not work in countries like the US or Canada. That's the problem. And with these people, you know, like, I can understand their stress, you know, they have huge loans on their head. They don't know where they will go if they don't get a job. But just ask yourself this question, if you are studying from a book all the time and you don't network, you don't go to job fairs, you don't go ahead, create opportunities, you don't network on LinkedIn, um, you don't really go ahead, take your resume different places, 10 different places, you don't go ahead, do any of it. You just read a book and you get good grades. Do you think you have a good chance of getting a job over the next person who's proactively not only studying, but maybe his grades are a little bit lower, but he is going ahead, he's doing projects, he's doing internships, he's getting the experience, and he wants to show that he's a go-getter. And that's what he's doing. That's the kind of person you're competing with. An all-rounder. And <laughs> just reading the books is not gonna get you there. I'm sorry but it's not going to get you there. So this is the biggest mistake people make, you know. Um, I know some of you are from very small cities, small towns, you don't really understand this yet. Um, maybe you're afraid your speaking skills are not that good. Maybe you're not, maybe you're not really, you know, properly dressed up or you don't really know how to present yourself. You don't have the right kind of clothes. I understand that. These sort of things can come up with anyone based on you know maybe you're from a small town you never needed those sorts of clothes you know maybe you're embarrassed to go ahead and maybe you don't even have the money to go ahead and purchase some right kind of clothes or you just don't know how to talk to an employer you just don't know how to connect with them because you've never been in the industry because a lot of students I know they just complete their bachelors they just go ahead for their masters it's fine it's not an issue okay but you have to start going putting yourself out there Maybe you mess things up with one employer. Maybe you make a mistake, but you learn. And the next time you go ahead and put yourself in front of someone else, I assure you, it's gonna go much better than the last time. And you'll have chances. You'll have plenty of chances. Just realize that, you know, if you're in a good area, you know, if you're in a good location, California, New York, Boston, you know, if you're in a good location, Florida, you can go ahead, you can connect with employers on LinkedIn, you can visit their office. Maybe you can't really get an internship on site right now. Maybe, you know, it's your first year and in your first year, you're prohibited to move out of campus for any kind of jobs. But still, does that prohibit you from going to the employer's office, talking to them, understanding their issues and understanding what kind of a person they're looking for? Maybe in one year, you can really go ahead and start looking at the kind of projects they do. And then, once you understand the kind of work that they do, you can develop yourself into that individual. Hey, this can be your dream company. You can go ahead and talk to people in Amazon and you will find the kind of work they do. You, once you reach their office, you will see the people who do the work will actually tell you about it. And then you can go ahead, build your profile accordingly, right? Over the next one year, do some on-campus job, but build your profile accordingly. Stay in touch with that recruiter. Tell him, you know, keep a track of things. Keep uh, keep the conversation going. Keep letting him know that I'm doing this now. I'm doing that now. Once that one year passes and you're eligible for off-campus jobs, you want to reach out to that person. You want to tell him, hey, I, I've been doing this for a long time now. One year I've been working towards the things that you guys work on a daily basis. And I think I would be the right kind of person to go ahead and hire for, you know, for their help in your company, whatever position that is, for software development, for data science, for, you know, whatever kind of company that you go in, whatever kind of position you inquire about, okay? So keep these things in mind, guys. Don't make that mistake that 90% of the people make. They would just keep studying the books. They would just keep, you know, uh, going after the professors, just going, going out and attending the office hours, thinking that they will get a teaching assistantship. Guys, think long term. You don't just need a teaching assistantship, you need a job later on. 
you need that to cover up your expenses you need that to cover up your loan you need that to make sure that you are protected otherwise it's going to be very very difficult okay keep that in mind also if you know some of you seniors are watching this someone who's already attending universities you have suggestions which can be golden to these people Post them down below. Let them know exactly what you faced, what kind of scenarios you go through on a daily basis. Because it's not easy, definitely it's not easy. But, you know, with the right kind of approach, with the right kind of mindset, I'm 100% certain even the, even the most dull person out there can become the best out there. I can guarantee you that. And you don't really need to be the best. I, I can guarantee you that as well. You don't need to be the best. You just need to be someone who is a go-getter okay apart from that you know enjoy your time you're in another country you know travel go to different places travel the city travel different states as well if possible but don't make the mistake of assuming that just by getting good grades you're gonna be able to ace the class or you're gonna be able to get a job it's not gonna be easy okay um, hopefully this will give you some more perspective don't make these mistakes be prepared if you're not if you're not in the country that you're going it keep these things in mind for when you land in fact you can start today itself it doesn't have to be when you actually reach over there you can start doing all of this today itself inculcate these habits today so that tomorrow when you land over there it doesn't have to be you know when you're already going to be having to do a lot more things th that are going to be coming up you know chores and all of these things and on top of that you will have to do this one more thing that you know you need to get your mindset right try to get your mindset right today so tomorrow you don't face this issue okay hopefully this will give you the insight that i that i tried to provide now this is from my first hand experience i saw this so i'm telling you about this if i had not seen it i would not be able to tell you about this but i know people do make these mistakes so yeah thank you so much for watching i want to make more content like this but i'm not really sure if you guys would enjoy you know watching something which is um you know unscripted not really thought about you know like all of this is just me talking to you directly talking to the camera without really thinking of what i'm going to be saying next so yeah it's like if you were sitting in front of me i could talk to you about this same thing right now the exact same words okay hopefully you enjoyed it let me know though that's why i'm that's why i'm asking you if you enjoy this i can do it more Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Share with your friends who actually need to hear this generally. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.